What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Eman Trail. I'm back with another tutorial and today I want to show you how you can create better audio for all your videos. So you may have heard when it comes to film that half of your film is audio. Audio is equally as important as the framing, as whatever the camera is directly looking at. What most people hear is what they will believe on film. Where you place your microphones is very, very, very important to your audio capture. So you're listening to me right now and what you can't see is the microphone is actually about a foot away from me. It's not directly pointed at my mouth, it's actually pointed at my chest right here because typically this is where the sound is generated in your body. So you don't never want to point the mic directly at your mouth you kind of want to aim it at the chest. Now remember, the microphone is extremely close to me. So if I back this mic up, you'll still be able to hear me, but you'll also not only hear me, but you'll hear the space, the entire space of the room. Here's what that sounds like. You should definitely be able to hear a big difference in the sound. Not only can you still hear me, but you probably hear my ceiling fan running. You probably hear this clock in the background and you can hear the space. You might even be able to hear the crickets from outside because the mic is now placed about two feet from a window, but it's approximately 10 feet away from me, as opposed to before when it was only a foot away from me outside of the view of the camera. So as you can see, there is a big difference and where your microphones are placed is very key to your audio pickup. Better audio, how to make sure that the audio that you're picking up is the audio that you want to pick up. Um, I've had a couple people ask me this question, so I'm actually on set right now. I will show you my microphone placement for this scene. So honestly, man, it's just about really getting creative, finding the places that you need to be, and, and setting everything up. Um, trial and error. This is not something that you'll get right on the first time. You need to set it up, hear how it sounds, and go back and make any necessary adjustments. Tell me this, what does second place get you? Get you any trophies? No. Get you scholarships? It might. It might. The last time I checked, in the history book, second place don't. All right, so let's talk about some different audio solutions that you can think about to help you achieve better audio in your videos. A lot of DSLR cameras have a 3.5 millimeter jack, which you could possibly get a shotgun mic with that type of import depending on if you just want to pick up audio from a person you don't necessarily need the space outside but you want that direct clean audio coming from that person then you can use a lapel or a lavalier mic this one was real real cheap it was like a dollar two dollars off of ebay ordered it offline and all you simply do is come to your mic input on the camera plug this bad boy up Clip the lapel to the person, if I can get this right for the sake of the video, and I can't, I'm just going to clip it on my chain for the time being. Clip the microphone to the person, and now you can see it's still pretty much in the same area as where my shotgun mic or my condenser mic was aimed at, so I still get that full body resonance, I still get that good bass and the treble within the microphone, but it cuts out all the background noise. Now if you don't have a lapel mic and you don't have the time to order it and you have to go out and shoot that day, another great audio solution that you could do is simply use your cell phone. So most smartphones have a voice memo or voice recorder type feature in it. All you simply have to do is use that feature inside of your Android or your iPhone, aim the microphone towards the person or towards the, the subject that you're trying to capture and you'll still get clean audio pickup. 
Now please remember the amount of space that's between you or the microphone and the subject will be affected. But if you can get close enough with your cell phone to place this mic kind of in the, the biplex of the same area, you can still get clean audio pickup simply by using your cell phone, which everybody already has in their pocket, all right? So real quickly, I just wanted to give you all a couple of ideas, a couple of ways to think to get better audio pickup on your videos. If you found the information in this video helpful, do me a favor one time and hit that like button, give it a thumbs up. If you think there was anything that we could improve on or do differently, please leave that in the comments. And to stay in contact with everything we're doing here at GHME Films, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Just wanted to say that the grind speaks to your work ethic, so if you continue to grind hard, you'll meet all expectations. Be inspired to do something great.